Thank you. The member from Northumberland, Quinty West. Well, thank you, Speaker. Speaker, indeed it is a privilege for me to stand in this legislature today to pay tribute to the late Howard Shepherd, a man who was said by many to exemplify service to the people in Northumberland County. I'd like to thank his family, wife Bernice, daughter Elaine and Eileen, his son Bruce, and grandson Brandon and partner Kimberly for being here today and for your service to the people of Northumberland by supporting and encouraging Howard in his public service. Although not often recognized, it's the family of politicians that give up their time and, and sacrifice so much to allow their loved one the opportunity to serve, and we thank you for that. <laughs> Speaker, I want to share a little bit of uh, history of Mr. Howard Shepherd, and from now on I'm going to refer to him as Howard, because that's how the people of Roseneath and Northumberland used to know him as Howard. Born in October 6, 1933, in the metropolis of Codrington, Speaker, which is part of the municipality of Brighton. Uh, the subways are still running there, Speaker. <laughs> Always on time. Howard was a student at Campbellford District High School. He spent his early days working on a farm. Howard belonged to numerous farm organizations uh, in Northumberland, including the Federation of Agriculture, the Junior Farmers, Hog Producers, Sawn Crop Improvements Association. He operated a dairy farm near Roseneath for almost 30 years, and was a member of the Ontario Milk Marketing Board for 15 years, during which time he chaired the Pine Ridge Planning Authority. Howard served as Vice President and President of Roseneath Agricultural Society. In 2011, he received the recognition for his contribution to the local agricultural industry when he was inducted to the Quinty Agricultural Wall of Fame. Howard was nominated by Hamilton Township Mutual Insurance, where he served as a director from 1989 to 2007. His public service began in the mid-1950s when he served 16 years, 16 years on four different school boards, beginning with the North Brighton Township School Board in 1957 and including chairmanship of Northumberland Newcastle School Board from 1974 to 1976. Howard first uh, entered provincial politics in 1981, general election, defeating popular Port Hope Mayor William Wyatt to represent the riding of Northumberland at Queen's Park. He served as a distinguished member of this legislature in the 32nd and 33rd Parliament, sit sitting and chairing many legislative committees and serving as parliamentary assistant to the Minister of Tourism, Recreation, in the Bill Davis and the Frank Miller government, Speaker. This is when I got to first meet Howard, uh, after he became an MPP. Uh, as the family would know, uh, we have a family business that uh, needed some help at that time with some issues. And the first time I called Howard within, I'm not going to say within minutes, but maybe hours, I, it was resolved. So I'm all, I've always remembered that. Following his years at Queen's Park, Mr. Mr. Howard <laughs> served, my notes say Mr. Shepherd. I'm trying to get away from that. Served as Reeve of the Township of Alnwick, uh, Township of Alnwick from 1994 to 2000. It was here, Speaker, that I had the brief opportunity and privilege to work with Howard as we both sat in Northumberland County Council. He filled the role as warden from 1996 to 97. I remember Howard working tirelessly for his municipalities, always wanting what was best for the public, bringing their issues to the forefront and advocating for the folks in the rural community. His community involvement in more than 40 years included active roles in Rotary, the Royal Canadian Legion, the Shriners, and he is a past master of Percy Lodge. In 2001, then uh, Premier Mike Harris appointed Howard to the Board of Health for the Halliburton Kawartha Pine Ridge District School Unit. If I remember correctly, I think we served together there for a little while as well. I'm reminded of a quote from, uh, of all people, Arnold Schwarzenegger, that says, help others and give something back. I guarantee you will discover what, 
I will guarantee you will discover that while public service improves the lives and the world around you, its greatest rewards its, is the enrichment and new meaning it will bring in your own life. And that was Howard. Mr. Speaker, I, I think <coughs> this echoes Howard's legacy and the contribution he made to the legislature, Northumberland County, the province of Ontario, he has re redefined the term of public servant. Thank you very much, and thank you for the family to be here today in, in this honor. Thank you.